Here come a few practice questions on descriptive statistics. We want to calculate sample mean, sample standard deviations, population standard deviation variance, and eventually median of a sample of 10 observations. So let's first remind ourselves of the formula. Sample mean is the sum of all xi divided by n. Then uh, the standard deviations are of course just square roots of the variances. So let's look at the variance first. Population variance is the sum of xi minus x bar squared divided by n and the sample variance is the same sum but then divided by n minus 1. And the uh, standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. So we need to calculate sums of xi and the sum of this xi minus x bar squared. We'll do that in a tabular form and frankly that's the only way if you have to do it by hand. Everything else is uh, you're trying to cheat on yourself and it's going to fail. So here we go. First what we do is we'll write down all the observations. So it's 10, watch out there, two fifty ones right next to each other but uh, we need them so the sum of all these turns out to be 500 and that means that the sample mean is 1 over 10 times 500 which is 50. Now that information is of course needed for the next column xi minus x bar so 52 minus 50 is 2 and so forth. Here are all the deviations they're positive and negative and if we sum them if we sum them all up we'll get zero and we'll always get zero when we calculate this. So what we need is the squares of these 2 squared is 4, negative 2 squared is 4, negative 14 squared is 196 and so forth. We complete this column and once you've completed it and you calculate the sum of this, you'll get 672. Now we need this sum multiple times and that's why it's so good to do it in a table and then you have this sum available. First to calculate the population variance, we calculate 1 over 10 times that sum, which is 672. So we get 67.2 as the population variance and of course that's the solution given. Then let's calculate the population standard deviation. That's just the square root of that value. So square root of uh, 67.2 is 8.1976. And that's the solution given. So next we want the sample standard deviation. For that we first need the sample variance. Okay, Always calculate first the variance, then the standard deviation. So 672 now divided by 9, that is 74.6667, that's the sample variance and the sample standard deviation is the square root of that, which is 8.6410. So what we next want to calculate is the median. Now if you have 10 observations then the median is going to be some value between, in terms of orders, the fifth and the sixth largest or smallest value. So we need the order of our observation. So let's start from the bottom from the smallest. That's this one. Uh, 36, then 48 is twice. No, actually that's a smaller one. Actually the 39. So 39 is the second smallest, then 48 are the third and the fourth smallest. Then 49 is the fifth smallest, then 51 the sixth and seventh smallest and so forth. We don't need to go further because all we need is the fifth and the sixth observations because the median is going to be basically the average of these two values. So we calculate 49 plus 51 divided by 2 is 50. This is the median and that's of course the solution given. So the second question is an extension from this. Let's say you're still using the 10 observation above but now you get an 11th observation and once you add that you get a new average of 49. What was the 11th observation? So we know once we had 10 observations the sample average was 50 and now once we have 11 observations the sample average is 49. So the observation 11th had to be smaller than the sample average. But how do we find it out? Now the sum of all 10 observations we know is 500. What about the sum of all 11 observations? Well we know that this sum will have to be 11 times 49. Okay, So the sum of all these 11 observations have to be 11 times 49 because we know the average. That is 539 and therefore we know the 11th observation made a difference to the sum of 39 and therefore 
the eleventh observation, verse 39. So to solve this question you really need to understand how sample averages are calculated and you have to make some innovative use of the formula to solve the question. So 39 is the answer to this.